My father in his teenage years a rebel streak did show. Hearing men make solemn promises the British to overthrow. They spoke about the GPO and Ireland's heart was sore. But the death of our own leader stung him to the very core. It was early in his youthful day a rebel streak did show. Hearing men make solemn promises the British to overthrow. They would sacrifice both life and limb, a republic to define. And many is an Irish volunteer died sadly in his prime. My father's house, built by his dad, was solid and first rate. The front was finished in mortar dash, on the back hung a cladding slate. The roof was covered with killaloos, the windows slid up and down. And uh, the floor inside the big hall door lay tiles in sand brown. To finish off this house he built, my father couldn't wait. To fit a brass lock on the door, on a solid brass lock plate. He paid a fortune for this lock, for he knew it would be secure. It took Jim Smith a good two days to fit it on the door. <laughs> My granddad was a Redmondite who supported his home rule bill. He wore a stiff starch coloured shirt and a bowler hat as well. But his politics were old and stale, home rule had not been won. And Ireland now was changing fast and just time the Brits were gone. <laughs> My uncle Mike worked for the government collecting poor law rates. He hid his takings in a box marked Willow Pattern Plays. <laughs> for he knew well he knew the danger his takings would tempt men who were desperate to fund the cause and care not from where it came. Now behind the scenes, two teenage boys were hatching out a plot. For to rob their brothers, poor law rates, making sure not to be caught. But soon they found that he, like them, supported the rebel cause. And he said he'd help them rob himself <laughs> and to hell with English law. <laughs> This took a ball for Ireland then, and Grandad went to bed. And to stave off police suspicion, they staged a big breaking instead. Then the blame would shift to the highwaymen seen directly round Kilmore. And with foul aforethought and intent, they attacked the big front door. <laughs> with hatchets, bars and hammers too, in a hurried mode did wield. But Grandad's big brass lock and lock was proven slow to yield. Then a sledge, big sledge was then procured, then a stick of dynamite. Oh. And according to what my dad told me, there was some bloody bang that night. <laughs> <laughs> my Grandad, my Grandad, incandescent now, he quizzed the boy's intent. And why they robbed the front door lock, knowing what to him it meant. Could they not see with their own two eyes that an entry to secure, that a flimsy timber thumb latch held the unlocked kitchen door? <laughs> this news soon spread like wildfire all around the whole southeast. <laughs> but my granddad saw the lighter side, his support for home rule ceased. <laughs> Lord George recalled his government, new tactics to devise. But the rebel heart in Wexford men, it helped to galvanize. <laughs> <laughs>